Welcome to the 2024 Budget Tracker Tutorial. The 2024 Budget Tracker is a spreadsheet I built to help you stay on track to achieving your 2024 financial goals. Once you open the tracker, you should be on the Read Me First tab, which is your go-to guide when using the tracker. It contains instructions on how to download the file, important notes, and a breakdown of how to use each tab with screenshots. If you're using Google Sheets, you have to copy the file to your personal drive before you can edit it by going to File and selecting Make a Copy. The next tab is the 2024 Goals tab, where you will set your monthly income, savings, spending, and any 2024 financial goals. First, enter your expected monthly income by category in the income table. Next, enter any monthly savings goals by category in the savings table. These are going to be your savings and investment accounts. So for example, your regular savings accounts, your high yield savings account, 401ks, IRAs, HSAs, and so on. After you've entered your income and saving goals, you can enter your monthly expenses and the monthly goal amount you plan to spend on each category in the expense table. These expenses are going to be your variable expenses that fluctuate from month to month. So for example, groceries, travel, eating out, shopping, fitness, etc. Next, enter any expected bills in the bills table. Bills are going to be your fixed payments that are due on a particular day of the month that are typically unavoidable. So for example, rent, car insurance, phone bill. Lastly, set any monthly debt paydown goals in the debts table. These are going to be credit card debt payments, loan payments, and so on. A few things to keep in mind when you're setting your monthly spending goals. I recommend keeping the categories on the broader side because you can roll up each transaction in the transaction tracker. So for example, I would create a subscriptions expense category versus listing out Netflix payment, Spotify payment, and so on. Also make sure that none of the category names have the same name because this will double count them in the summary tables. Once you've entered your monthly income, savings, and spending goals, you can set any financial goals for the year in the 2024 goals table. For example, if you want to save $10,000 for a house renovation this year, or $2,000 for next year's Christmas fund, you would enter those goals here. To set 2024 goals, enter the goal in the goal column, the total amount you want to save for the goal in the amount column, and the amount you plan to save each month for the goal in the monthly column. Once you've entered the total goal amount in the monthly savings goal, you'll be able to see the estimated number of months it's going to take you to achieve your goal in the estimated months column. You can always adjust the monthly savings goal to accomplish the goal in a shorter or longer time frame. Finally, you can view your planned monthly summary in the monthly goal overview table. Once you've set your 2024 goals, you can start tracking your spending in the monthly tabs. These tabs track your monthly income, savings, goals, and spending compared to the goals you set in the 2024 goals tab. First, enter your monthly income by category in the actual column of the income table and your monthly savings by category in the actual column of the savings table. Once you've input your savings for the month, enter how much of those savings were allocated towards your monthly goals in the actual column of the 2024 goals table. So for example, if I put $1,000 in my high yield savings account this month, I would put $1,000 next to the high yield savings category in the savings table, and then go down to the goals table and enter how much I delegated of that $1,000 towards each goal. Make sure you put your total savings for the month in the savings table before you specify the amount for each goal so that data doesn't get omitted from the calculations. Lastly, enter any expenses, bills, or debts paid for the month in the transaction tracker at the bottom of the tab. Once you enter a transaction, it will automatically be reflected in the monthly spending summary tables. Just enter the transaction date, the amount paid, select the category the transaction falls in, any important notes such as Netflix or Spotify subscription, and the transaction will automatically be added to the category in the expense, bills, or debts table. The monthly dashboard in the middle visualizes your savings, expenses, bills, and debts for the month compared to the goals you set in the 2024 goals tab and tracks your transactions compared to your monthly spending goal. So as you enter transactions in the transaction tracker, you'll see how close you are to going over your spending goal. Finally, at the top, you can see your total income, total spent, 
the amount left over you had to save, and your save rate for the month. Next, we have my personal favorite, the 2024 dashboard tab. This tab automatically summarizes your annual income, savings, spending, and goals in one place so that you can track your finances for the year. This tab pulls in data from the monthly tabs and updates as you enter new data. The financial overview table summarizes your total income, savings, amount of savings that went to your 2024 goals, expenses, bills, and debts compared to the goals you set in the 2024 goals tab. It also includes a bar chart visualizing your total income and spending for the year. The monthly financial breakdown table breaks down your income, savings, expenses, bills, and debts by month, and the spending insights table calculates your most on-track and off-track expense. In the middle, there's an annual dashboard that visualizes your monthly income versus monthly spending and your monthly savings broken down by savings categories. The expense breakdown table contains a donut chart that summarizes your total expenses for the year by category and allows you to drill down into specific expense categories using the category dropdown. For example, if I want to drill down into the amount I spent on groceries this year, I can select groceries from the category dropdown, and now I can view the total amount I've spent so far, my annual goal, the amount under or over goal I am, and the monthly average I spent on groceries. Finally, the 2024 goal summary table summarizes the 2024 goals you've set. It shows the total amount you've saved for each goal this year, the amount remaining you need to save, your progress, the estimated amount of months it's going to take to complete the goal, and the estimated date that the goal is going to be completed. It also includes progress bars for each goal at the bottom. Last but not least, the Category Totals tab breaks down your 2024 income, savings, spending, and goals by category by month so that you can view and further track your monthly spending for specific categories.